Okay. So uh, someone asked me to uh, play music and stand beside the beside the loudspeaker to uh, get a clue on uh, what the loudness is. Uh, well, I had added some stuff behind the speakers, like um, <laughs> like my old quads, and on top of that, some uh, acoustic uh, panels. I used in my computer room for uh, doing small mixes and stuff, pre-mixing. Not the final mix, of course, but, but it works. Uh, it worked pretty well against slap delay and such. Low end, it doesn't do shit, of course, but I thought, well, give it a try. Put it behind the panel, see what happens. Uh, let me first. This is sort of a loudness uh, thingy. try uh, and see if there is less reflection of the wall and such because it's funny if you're sitting here you don't hear the room as much probably because our ears uh, fix fix the delay in uh, in direct sound and indirect sound this is uh, how your brain works but I think uh, well I think I'm almost I'm pretty sure it doesn't fix it if you listen to a recording so when you record it and listen it, listen to it on normal speakers, um, your brain doesn't accept it as the normal reflections you got. Normally you will filter them out to be able to understand someone or, you know, sometimes you zoom in on, on stuff as well. Like for instance, in a train, I try to zoom out usually when there are babies crying all over the place. And I zoom in on uh, funny conversations that people are uh, having. Um, yeah, but I think if you record it and then you want to do uh, the same stuff you normally do, you can. This is why uh, uh, recording, uh, when you're recording for, for film or movie or television, it has to be dead silent because it's seeing things that normally aren't annoying are, are pretty annoying when you record it and then play it back. Of course, there are other reasons why it have, have to, has to be silenced because you want to edit it. And uh, yeah, well, uh, let's play one song and uh, be done with it. Uh, oh yeah. Also, I changed the resonance of the panel, so they play lower. But I'm not really sure if I like that. It means it means it can play lower, but at the same time, uh, you cannot push it as hard as you could if you put the resonance a little bit higher and uh, I'm not sure if I gained gain that much uh, useful information in the low end so I might even strip down the panels when I make a, a frame smaller resonance a little bit higher so you still have a decent output at the low end but low is then probably 55 hertz or something, or maybe 60 hertz. Now it's at 48, and nah, it's okay. But it was at 60 before, and I think it had some more punch, and, and you were able to drive it harder even. So, but okay. Enough talking. Everything comes from something 
It all starts with one. It all starts somewhere. It all starts with one. Nothing comes from nothing. It all starts with one. First, everything is dry. Before the dew and the drops alive. Then the rain starts falling down. a bit louder than I would listen <laughs> but uh, yeah the sibling S starts with some uh, is on Brun and she has a uh, it might be the recording I don't know but uh, it's more often in her music which is annoying but it might be the voice itself uh, and but she's good of course and uh, this time not a unknown artist because she's well known, of course. But uh, yeah, that's it. 